Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. Uh, doing something a little bit different. I actually have two boxes from Erin Condren. So we're moving into like the new year. We've been talking about planners a lot on the Ask the Pink Envelope Facebook group. And I think in general, we're all kind of looking for ideas in ways to organize things. And I thought it would be cool to do a combo of the Erin Condren planners and some of our favorite journal and planner subscription boxes. So I actually don't know what all I have here. I believe I have the Erin Condren Advent. I believe I have their winter exclusive pop-up box. And then I believe I have some journals to show you guys. That's what we chatted about opening. We'll open and see if that's the case. And then I do have below already linked my favorite journal subscription boxes. Ones that are uh, tried and true, unique. You can see um, journal junk box on our channel here a few times if you just go search. Uh, I think fabulous planners on here one time. And then the others are just journal subscription boxes that I've been watching for a while and they have very unique twist on things. So each one of them are very different. You can go take a peek at those. If you are like me, you're in the midst of shopping for Christmas gifts. <laughs> it is, I try to start early and I usually end up somewhere right about now. It's middle, I'm not late, but I'm not like those people who are done in October, you know what I mean? So I created the pink envelope subscription box holiday gift guide. So if you want to go and peek through, I do have the URL down below along with my blog and our subscription box directory. My biggest goal is for you to be able to go and buy a category or a gift type like for him and search through what we think are some of the best subscription boxes out there. We have coupon codes and information and videos you can watch. So make sure you go visit our subscription box holiday gift guide. Erin Condren is just up the road for me. From you, for you guys who don't know, I'm in San Antonio. Their offices are in Austin. It is a female founded business, woman owned. And so I have to say we have a lot in common. So I thought she'd be a great partnership. Plus, if you've been around, you know that she has like the best journals. Like everybody loves her journals. So, okay. Okay, yes. So this is the like winter exclusive box right here. There is inventory left on this. They are shipping. I mean, I think they just now started shipping like this week. And so um, at the time of filming this video, there is inventory. And then this is the Erin Condren advent calendar. Whoopsie. It sold out at the time of filming. I'm really hoping that they restock it. And so I'll, if I show it to you and you guys love it, you can join the wait list. Okay, let's open this advent calendar first. So when I ordered this, there was inventory, but it just went really, really fast. So hopefully they are able to restock it because I think it's really cute. And I'm actually going to give this to my oldest daughter who is a journal, she did, any notepads, desk related office supplies and stuff are her jam. And so this is what it looks like from the outside. Let's try to see if there is any like logo or anything on it. Not really. On the packaging it had it. Look. The packaging actually has the logo on it. It is another 12 day. I'm noticing 12 day advent calendars are really popular. Look. <laughs> so they are numbered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so they are all shaped like this. So it's leading me to believe that most of these are gonna be writing supplies, but let's pop them open and see. It, this is a spoiler for this year's advent calendar. So if it does come back into stock, I just wanted to warn you, I'm about to spoil everything that would come in the Erin Condrit advent calendar 2022. Ooh, I have no idea what type of pin this is, but it's really cool. Can you guys see the tip? It's like a dual tip, two different colors. I did write down some notes. Let me see if, a soft color dual ink beetle tip highlighter is day one. Day two is this guy right here. A mid-century circles fine tip gel pen in black. Okay. Three. Okay. What the heck? Can y'all see the tip on this one? The green stamp roller pen. Like, I literally think, hold on, let's get a scrap piece of paper. You roll it. Okay, that's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try the other one real quick. Emma's gonna love that. So this is the dual tip. Oh, can you do both? How does it work? Oh, you just, like, can you? <laughs> okay, so those are my different marks. You can lean it side to side to individually use a color or you can press down center to use them both. That's cool. I don't know what you would necessarily use that for unless you were rotating on marking a paper. And then this is just a regular pen. Yeah. So that's just a regular pen right there. What is this guy? The silver metallic gel pen. Oh yeah. It just, it's a gel pen. Like that. So that's the line at the very bottom here. See that? Just a regular gel pen. The Wisteria Retractable Highlighter. Oh. So, oh. Ah! I think that was a protective thing. There it is. And I guess the Wisteria is in the color. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. You see that purple right there? That looks great. Okay, so it's just a bunch of different pens I'm noticing, or writing utensils, should I say. Mid-century circles for day six. Oh, I probably should be putting these back so my daughter won't. <laughs> oh, can y'all see the ink inside? It's a bunch of different colors. So what happens when we write? Oh, it came out yellow, but there's blues and pinks and all sorts of colors in there. Okay, all of my writing is coming out yellow so far, but it does look like it may change colors at some point through the writing process. Okay, I should put these back in so I don't like ruin her whole advent. The advent, this advent calendar is a 12 day and it's only $28.50. So I think that's why it sold out so fast. It's because the price on it's really, really good. Okay, day seven is the what? Oh, dual tip dual ink list marker. So each side is different. So this guy, is it a circle? Oh, it is a circle. And then this guy I can draw eyes with to make a smiley face. So my first stamp is a half circle. My second stamp is a full circle. And then I made a smiley face out of it. That's the color of blue. Very cool. Day eight is the, ooh, this is like hexagon shaped green metallic marker. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's really pretty. So it comes out looking like that when you write with it. Very pretty. My daughter's gonna love these colors. She's gonna love the different things like the squiggly line and it makes the shape. That's really brilliant not to just send regular pens because Oh my gosh, I bet Emma has over 500 pens. Like I'm not even kidding you. Between like markers and chalks and crayons and colored pencils and gel pens, she probably has over 500. So you would think that this would not be exciting, but oh my gosh, she is going to love this because they're outside the box type pens. So this is the pink, oh, that's cute. Pink click gel pen. And so let's see, what color is the ink? Oh, it's a very pretty pink colored ink. So see where I wrote pink there? I wonder if she'll share this one with me. This one's so appropriately me. I think she will. <laughs> or <laughs> I could take this pen out, stick it in my drawer and put some other random pen in for day nine. Would she even know? Day 10 is the Spruce Dual Tip Highlighter with an exclusive metallic barrel. So two sides. Let's see, we'll write the word green. Yeah, it's green. And then the bottom is a highlighter it looks like. Yep. So that's the dual tipped pen right there. Very cool. 11 is the black ink ballpoint pen. It has a very like pretty metallic case. I'll just write the word black on here. Oh yeah, this just feels like, like a regular pen right there. 
And then last, but certainly not least, day 12. I was asking you guys, like, how do y'all do advent calendars when there's only 12 days? And a lot of you said that you'll get two and you'll rotate them, or you do every other day. But very few people said they just open all 12, like, straight across. Um, if you want to see another great 12-day advent calendar, go up here. I have a jewelry one. Not a, they not like a, no offense, not like a Kendra Scott one. Like, custom, handmade, gorgeous jewelry. And the value on it's amazing. Each of the custom pieces come to, like, $20 each. It's really cool. Okay, dun, 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 dun. day 12 is a mid-century circle double line marker pen. So, boop, it's this guy. Oh, the tip literally is two separate fine tips. So let me just see what I, let's write my name. Ooh, very cool. So it's like, it's two in one, I don't know. I have, so this is my first Erin Condren experience. So y'all can tell me if you're an Erin Condren shopper, um, does she normally like have lots of really cool different pens and markers? I guess it would make sense if she has the really cool journals you'd want supporting stuff. This is a great $28.50 advent calendar. I really hope they come back into stock and that one of you, and that you guys can snag it. But that is this guy here. The one that is in stock and they don't foresee selling out, at least not super, super quick at least, I mean eventually it will, is this winter exclusive box. I've actually been waiting on this video for quite a while because I was not allowed to show anything but the outside of this box until like middle of the month. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna get on a video and be like, <laughs> it's the outside of a box. So as soon as they gave me the thumbs up where I could show the contents, that's when I hopped on here. And this is the winter surprise box. It is $40 and it has a few different, different like unique writing tools. I think that's the word they used inside. So we've got a little card right here. Probably talks about the items inside. I am not gonna peek at it because I wanna be surprised. The presentation is outstanding on this. So if you're looking for gift ideas so far, very impressed with how beautiful everything is. Okay, on top we have a two pack of Starry Sky metallic pens. So there's those guys there. And then it has a notepad, I guess each individual day, oh yeah, of things to do. These are great. We keep these in the kitchen on like the corner right before you walk out the door to go get in the car. I'll leave these here and I will sketch out for the girls. Like on Monday, we're doing this. On Tuesday, we're doing this. And maybe it's like a chore chart. Like, hey, we're gonna do laundry early or don't forget, forget to feed our lizard or whatever. This will be very optimized in our family. And then what are these? Highlighter sticky note tabs. What in the world? I have never seen these before and they're very happy. Oh yeah, there's a bunch. So like, can y'all see? It's a bunch of each color and you pull it off. So let me pull one off the top. Pull it off and then I guess you just stick it on. Oh yeah, so there you go. I probably should have put it over words, but it acts like it's a, like, instead of using a highlighter, you can use these. I love that. Are they removable, I wonder? Let me see if I could peel it off. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. So that would be great if you were like in a book club or you were sharing books or if you're renting textbooks for school because this is not a highlighter that is permanent. It would mark your stuff while you needed to note it for a test or a quiz or a Bible study or whatever and then you could peel it right back off and it would be gone. Brilliant. What are these? They're stickers that say weekend, important, email, payday, and today. I guess you could use those in your journal to mark significant events. If I put payday on every day, does that mean payday will come on every day? I wish it worked that way. And then, ooh, what is this? Ooh, okay. I'm seeing the bottom of the box now. So, I am new to planners, so be gracious as I am diving into this, but these look like dividers. But what I'm wondering is, can you write on them and wipe them off? Is that why they're laminated? They're reusable? And then I see this. Is this just like a quote that you can put in your book? Oh wait, oh my gosh, there's more than one. 
believes something wonderful is about to happen. So these look like reusable pieces. And then look, there's a whole journal in here. This is gorgeous, y'all. Y'all know we love grays around here. And so this gray Starry Night Journal is spot on for me. And there is a planner in here. Oh my gosh, so there's a planner in here and some sticky notes and stickers and stuff. So here's what the planner looks like. And then in the back, it has stickers and stuff you can use in the planner. And then this is a carrying case. Like it has a spot for a pen and holding cards. The quality on this is amazing. The print on this is amazing. I am super, super impressed. So, Believe Something Wonderful as a cover or These Snowflakes as a cover. And they're seven by nine is what it says here. And these items are exclusive to this winter box. So I am new on this, but I think whenever I get this box open down here, these are gonna make more sense. So this is a choice item to customize your box. And then I did want to point out that there is a $20 gift card in here that is redeemable in January that comes in this guy. So the $20 gift card plus all of those items in the whole box is only $40. And so we've got journal accessories. We've got a journal accessories and some journals. I do want to make sure that you guys check out these journal subscription boxes. You can sign up for these to come every single month for the entire year. So if you're one of those people who are like, I don't want to fall off track. I want to stay focused. I want to make sure I'm leaning into my journal and not just doing it. I'm really bad about like adopting something for a couple of months and fading away. Having a journal subscription box showing up that every single month renews your energy to be dedicated to completing that task keeping life organized, keeping things on track would be great. Uh, journal Junk Box is on our channel quite a few times. And if you use code pink envelope 15, you can get 15% off your first box. And these codes and those links are all down below in my description. But you can actually watch several of their unboxings. In fact, I'll have the newest box in my December 1st monthly haul unboxing if you wanna check that out. Uh, another great one is Dextash. I have that coupon code in link below. The Fabulous Planner is another great one. I've only opened it once, but I do have coupon code PINK10 for 10% off, and you can grab that link below. Pinspiration Box by Cloth and Paper. I have not personally interacted with this one, but when I was digging around online and looking at it, it looked fabulous. So take a peek at that, because all of the ones I've listed thus far are different from the one I already listed. Like they're very different styles and genres and offerings. And then the last one, no, I have actually two more. Paper Bliss and the Pencil Case Journal Box. All of these are so, so different. So go through, take a look, and see if subscribing to one of those would really be the accountability you need to stay on track through 2023. Okay, I wanna know what's in here. This box is extremely heavy, you guys. And I did talk to them, and they asked some questions about who I am and what I do, and who I'm talking to when I talk to you guys, and what our goals for 2023 are. And so I answered to the best of my ability, and we'll see where things landed. Oh my gosh. We've got a gift set box, a water bottle, whatever, nesting something or another. Look at all this. And then a whole wall calendar. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward. A swell thermal Erin Condren thermos. We use these all the time. I didn't realize she had like, I don't know, I guess swag is what I would call it. That's great, that'll get used. This is really, really cool. It is a metallic monthly desk pad. I am super impressed with how happy the colors are. I guess I never thought about like, of course Erin Condren's gonna take your like basic office depot type stuff and make it a thousand times prettier. I use wall calendars and desk calendars a lot, a lot, a lot. And what I've noticed is that my kiddos have started to adopt them as well. Like both of my girls have wall calendars in their rooms. One of them uses it more than the other, but like they enjoy them being here. So this is January. Let me see if they're different colors each month. Oh, 
Oh yeah. So hold on. This is January, 2023, but it actually goes back a little bit. So here's August, 2022. That is crazy. Let's look at one more. These colors are amazing. Oh, is it rotate the pink and the blue? No, no, no. This is September's pink again, but then October's purple. Well, let me just tell y'all. I love this. This is beautiful. Okay, a 17 month metallic desk calendar. This is a 124 line page soft bound notebook. That is beautiful on the outside. And this is what the inside looks like. Very, very good quality. Like everything on here is such good quality and very colorful, which I am so about. So that is a notepad. Focused colorful fine liner pens, a 10 pack. So everything I'm showing you right here is just stuff you can get online. They're not necessarily part of a pack. They're not part of a subscription. They're just items that they have online. So look at this pen collection right here. That is great. And it looks like, yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like it opens and you can pull the pins out and when you're done, you can sell them back up inside. That's really cool. What is this? A designer sticker book, monthly collection with over 190 colorful stickers. So this is what it looks like on the outside. And then when you open it, it has these inside. So this is, hold on, let me slide this out. So these are January's. Y'all look at these colors. I am about this life. I am very shocked. I have not been using more Erin Contra and stuff. This is so me and it's happy. Like truly everything we're encountering when we're opening these things are joyful. I love it. These would be great gifts as well. What is this? The ultimate planny pack. Pack your accessories in so you can plan it out. What the what? Is it like a little bag for your planner? Look, it has a little handle on the back, a pocket on the front. Once again, the quality on this is very good. Oh, I don't know. You guys are gonna have to tell me. Do you just like put your accessories in here? Now with interior pockets to organize and store your essentials. The Planny Pack. Oh my gosh. I love that. So my oldest, who is the one who loves to journal and she loves notepads and office supplies, this is perfect for her because she's always bringing it into the car. She brings like an old school Walmart pencil pouch. This is so much better. And so then it looks like we've got sticky notes. I love sticky notes. We use them a lot in here, but these are actually shaped in a manner that they fit inside your journal pages really well. And then I've got a holiday prep petite planner. Looks like I have three different types of planners. Let's go with the little one first and then we'll go up. That was a petite planner that came in that um, winter box as well. If you are someone who uses Erin Condren, comment below, tell us your favorite products, what you're loving about them. I'm hoping that we can find some different planners that we can all order now. Then we'll order our journal subscription box for each month. And through the year of 2023, we will talk together and show off together how we're keeping life organized and keeping it fun. So this one is crazy cool and completely different. It actually says the holiday prep calendar. I did not know this was a thing. Look. This is what the front looks like. And so when you get inside, the entrance, uh, the entrance, the start does have tips on how to use your planner. But look at this. Questions. Calendar. But look. Like for real planning out. Table decor, I'm just gonna write, deck the table box, check. <laughs> Room decor, third in main, white home woods, just deco, check. <laughs> I'm just gonna list out my home decor boxes. If you're looking for a gift 
for someone who has everything but they love to plan events, this would be a great gift. I didn't even know this existed. So this guy is what I think of when I think of a planner. Oh, this is actually a classic lined notebook. But like when I think of a planner, this is what I think of, this shape and look. I love that this cover is like this hardcore thick laminate because it looks so durable. So we've got a couple of great planner options here. So if you don't like this hard mount style, maybe you can get the spiral style. And I guess this is the traditional planner. I mean, look. Look at they got all the tabs. Very cool. Ooh. So there's like a little welcome pack of stuff inside. This is the Life Planner hourly layout. Look at the colors, you guys. Very, very cool. Oh my gosh. So it's not even kidding. It is an hourly. Oh my. I would think like if you were in office and you had like very task oriented things, this would be fabulous to make sure you're not like floating down into Facebook world and you're like, how did I end up on Facebook for an hour? Because you could hourly hold yourself accountable to sticking to your schedule. I may need to get my husband one of these. Oh my gosh, because it still has your big monthly as well. Very, very cool. And in the back it has, look, like stickers you can put on different pages. Like, look at these. This is so great. So here's my question, and you guys may know the answer to this, but how do these work? Do they just pop on? Oh, they do, like literally, they just pop on. The tabs right here at the top are have a like they're cut open. So then you can just literally tab it onto the spiral. It's really easy. Okay, so see I did a few of them here. See how it's hung? So in the same right, let me pop this off. I bet I could remove, let me just use this ruler for example. I bet I could remove it. Yes. Voila. Is the same thing with the cover? Yeah, look, I could remove this cover, see how it's off? And put a different cover on here if I wanted to. That means the inside could stay organized, stay as a plan, but you could rotate your covers for holidays or if like your cover got too messed up or if you were just tired of looking at that cover, you could just swap it. Brilliant, freaking brilliant. Oh, I'm supposed to stop saying that. Really, really brilliant. Okay, dude. We need to get online and go through all of their planner options. I know they have a ton of them and get our planners ordered. I don't have like a coupon code because there's so many different offerings going. So my URL below that goes to Erin Condren's website contains the latest offer that I have for them. So go down, grab that URL, and then you can shop these things. So this is the packing cubes in mid-century circles. And so we have one, two. So we have a big one and a medium one. Oh, 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 three. Big one, medium one, and lay flat one. So we have packing cubes. We got some of these in one of our other beach boxes. Uh, Beachly, no, was it Beachly? Yeah, somebody recently sent us some of those and I didn't realize how nice they were. I hadn't had packing cubes before. But when you're packing and you wanna keep like all your socks and underwear together, all your toiletries together, these are where it's at. And then you can just wipe them off, they're really easy. Okay, y'all think this is the unboxing that keeps on giving. But this is, I mean, I didn't really know what to think whenever I was placing the order with Erin Condren and it was just like, okay, let's just get a little bit of everything. We'll open it together and see where we land. So this is the Erin Condren stationary gift set. I like the gift boxes like this. It makes Christmas giving gift, birthday giving gift, what, 
you got a promotion giving gift really, really easy. Oh, okay, I opened it wrong. That's on me. Okay, so the box actually opens like this. So then in here we have sticky notepads in here that are in this first box. Let me turn it like this so you can see. Weekly goals and priorities and a notepad in this box. And then we have a set of pins in this note box. Oh, dual sided. The pins have two tips, that round tip and the writing tip. I don't know how much this is. I didn't know this was in here, so I didn't look it up. But this is the Erin Condren stationary gift set. And you can see on the back here, all the things that go inside. Okay, very cool, you guys. I'm really hoping that this 12 days of writing tools advent calendar comes back. Just, I will post, if I see it pop up, I will post on the Ask the Pink Envelope Facebook group, on the YouTube community tab, on my Facebook, on my Instagram, I'll get word out. Um, but you guys be looking as well. And then the winter surprise box should still be in stock and you guys can grab that. I wouldn't wait too long though. If you like it, go ahead and grab it. And then we need to decide like which ones of these are we going to order. If you already have one, tell us what you ordered. That helps us kind of lean in and know which ones are good. Um, but I am digging, well, honestly, the gift giving aspect of this. Emma is going to freak out because I'm definitely going to be wrapping these things and putting them under the tree for her. But I also am thinking about my niece who is moving into that stage of wanting to organize her life more and my sister who's a small business owner. And these things are beautiful and the quality, I don't know what I was expecting, but I guess in my first time of playing with it, the quality is outstanding and I'm loving what we're seeing here. And then make sure you go down below and check out the links for those journal subscription boxes. If you already are subscribed to a journal subscription box, tell us which one you are subscribed to and why you love it. Cause that really helps people know what, who are the tried and true. Cause even though I loved everything I saw on the pencil case journal box, I haven't actually subscribed to them. So don't actually know what like the end product looks like. It just looks great on their website. And it was a, once again, a different style from the other boxes that I listed on here. Well, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. We're gonna disappear for a little bit through the weekend because I want to spend some time with my family and my kiddos. We're gonna go have our beach Thanksgiving and then we'll be back doing what we do with the things that we do. We're gonna see which boxes are popping up. I actually have two or three new boxes that are showing up, a couple of staples that are showing up. Of course, I wanna show you my holiday entry envy and all of the things that are Christmas once we get past Thanksgiving. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of that goodness. I hope that you and your family have a very, very happy Thanksgiving. And if you subscribed, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all.